So students, 24th problem. First 24th problem you see, 12.5 rupees. 12 rupees 50 paisa will be the cash flow every year. And at the end of the year, he will get the interest value plus the maturity value. Maturity value is 105 and interest is 12.5. So add up 105 plus 12.5, you will get 117.5. So this 117.5 consists of 12.5 interest and 105 maturity value. And present value, uh, PV factors at 15% because um, required rate of return is given as 15%. So we have taken. Multiply this cash flow with PV factors, you will get PV of cash. Now the product, the product means first column and fourth column year and PV of cash flow. So year or PV of cash inflow go multiply kare, so you will get the product. 1 into 10.875, this value. 2 into 9.45, 18.9. 3 into 8.225, this value. Now take the product, the total of the product and total of PV of cash inflow. It is asking you what is the present value of the bond and what is the duration. The present value of the bond is the total of the present value of cash flow. The present value of the bond, intrinsic value of the bond is the present value, total of the present value of cash flows. So this is the total of the present value of cash flows, 94.0975. So 94.10, you can take 09 or 10 also, you can take, it's very near to 10. So 94.1 is the present value or intrinsic value of the bond. Secondly, it is asking you to calculate duration, total product divided by total of PV of cash inflow. So 375.0375 divided by 94.0975, 3.98 is the duration of the bond. That's it. You take a pause and copy down this 24th problem. Then I am coming to 25th problem. The following data is available for a bond. Face value of the bond is 1000. Copen interest rate 16% payable annually. So every year 16% of 1000, 160. 16% of 1000 is 160. So every year 160 rupees Copen interest is paid. Years to maturity 6 years. Redemption value. Redemption value means maturity value. Maturity value 1000. Current market price 964.5. What is the yield to maturity? Duration and volatility of this bond. Yeah, now point. And this problem is very important problem. You are required to calculate the YTM, you are required to calculate the volat uh, duration and volat volatility. So what is this volatility? I'll explain you. First we'll uh, calculate the YTM. See, the YTM, first of all, YTM. The current market price of the bond is less than the face value. See the problem? 964.5 is the current market price, whereas face value is 1000. So we can say the current market price is less than the face value. The current market price of the bond is less than the face value. So the required rate of return may be more than the Copen rate. A required rate of return more than Copen rate, Rene ki wajah say he market price of bond is down, less. So let the required rate of return be 17%. Okay, okay. Copen rate 16% So The required rate definitely 16 se zyada ho. So suppose let the required rate of return be 17%. So we find out the present value. V is equal to 160 into PVAF 17% for 6 years. The life of the bond is 6 years given in the problem. Then maturity value 1000 and PVF 17% 6 years. If you calculate 17% 6 years annuity factor, we will get 3.589. PV factor 17% 6 years 0 0.390. The value of the bond is 964.24. 964.24 is the intrinsic value of the bond whereas the current market price of the bond is 964.5 so here also you don't find much difference between the intrinsic value and the current market price intrinsic value 964.24 aya jabke market mein price 964.50 is the difference a huge difference or insignificant difference there is small difference very insignificant difference Dono mein khali bilkul thoda sa farka 26 paisa ka difference Only 26 paisa difference between current market price and intrinsic value That is negligible So we can say both are same In other words we can say the intrinsic value and the market price of the bond both are equal There is no significant difference 
between these two prices. So we can say the YTM is 17%. Ye jo value aaya, kitne percentage se value aaya? 17%. So at 17%, there is no significant difference between the intrinsic value and the market price. Both are equal. So we can say YTM is 17%. There is no need to apply the formula. Agar dono ke mein significant difference agar rahita, so we have to apply the interpolation formula, right? Now, secondly, it is asking you to calculate the duration of the bond. Duration of the bond ke liye, again, we have to make the table. Table is already prepared. That's why I'm not making a separate table for this one. I'm taking one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, present the value factor. PV factor will take the YTM, required rate of return. What is the YTM we got? 17%. So PV factor should also be taken as 17%. Now every year, what is the copal interest we are getting? 160 rupees. Now at the end of the sixth year, we are getting the maturity value. The maturity value is 1000 and the copal interest is 160. So we, if, if we add up 1000, 160 is the total cash inflow at the end of the sixth year. Now present value factors at 17% we need. We need the PV factors at 17%. Point 0.855. Point 0.855. Point 731. 0.634. 0.534. 0.456. 0.390. 0 now multiply, multiply this cash flow with PV factors, 136.80, six, 116.96, 99.84, 85.44, 72.96, 452.40, the total is 964.40. Here 136 0.80, 233.92, 299.52, 341.76, 364.80, last one 2714.40, the total is 4091.40. We got the total. Now duration. Duration is equal to total of product divided by total of PV of cash flow. Total of the product 4091.20 divided by 964 is equal to 4.24 we got 4.24 years this is the duration secondly th thirdly it is asking you to find out volatility of bond Volatility of bond. Actually, volatility means sensitivity of the bond price according to the changes in the required rate of return. What is the sensitivity on the market price of the bond, value of the bond, due to the changes in the required rate of return? Last theory class we have discussed. 
द वैल्यू ऑफ द बॉन्ड डिपेंड्स ऑन द रिक्वायर्ड रेट ऑफ रिटर्न जैसा जैसा रिक्वायर्ड रेट ऑफ रिटर्न फ्लक्चुएट होगा उसका इफेक्ट वैल्यू ऑफ बॉन्ड पे होगा तो सम बॉन्ड्स आर मोर सेंसिटिव सम अदर बॉन्ड्स आर लेस सेंसिटिव कुछ बॉन्ड बहुत ज्यादा सेंसिटिव होती हैं थोड़ा सा रिक्वायर्ड रेट ऑफ रिटर्न चेंज हो गया तो ज्यादा चेंज वैल्यू ऑफ बॉन्ड पे होता कुछ ऐसे रहते हैं ज्यादा चेंज अगर इंटरेस्ट में हो भी रहा है तो इट विल नॉट बी मच चेंज ऑन द वैल्यू ऑफ द बॉन्ड तो सेंसिटिविटी विल बी डिफरेंट फॉर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ बॉन्ड्स तो वोलेटिलिटी ऑफ बॉन्ड इज द कॉन्सेप्ट विच इज यूज टू फाइंड आउट द सेंसिटिविटी ऑफ द बॉन्ड प्राइस सेंसिटिविटी ऑफ द बॉन्ड प्राइस टू द चेंजेस इन द रिक्वायर्ड रेट ऑफ रिटर्न सो यू कैन राइट दिस सेंटेंस the sensitivity of the bond price the sensitivity of the bond price to change to change in the interest rates to change in the interest rates is called bond volatility is called bond volatility again i repeat the sensitivity of the bond price to the changes in the interest rates is called bond volatility the vol volatility can be computed by the following form right now the volatility can be computed by the following formula so volatility is equal to duration divided by 1 plus ytm duration divided by 1 plus ytm this formula is used to calculate the to find out the volatility of the bond so duration we got 4.24 1 plus ytm ytm already we have calculated 17% 4.24 divided by 1.17 is equal to 3.62 so volatility we got 3.62 इसका मतलब क्या हुआ इफ देर इज वन परसेंट चेंज इन द इंटरेस्ट रेट देर इज थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स टू परसेंट चेंज इन द बॉन्ड प्राइस यूर राइट वन दिस सेंटेंस अगेन आई रिपीट अगेन आई डिक्टेट आई नो दोलाटिलिटी वी गॉट थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स टू द वोलाटिलिटी वी गॉट थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स टू इट मीन्स if there is 1% change in interest rate if there is 1% change in interest rate comma it leads to 3.62% change 3.62% change in the bond price bonds p and q so data is given regarding two bonds p and q regarding bond bond p face value 1000 coupon interest 16% payable annually so 16% of 1000 is 160 every year 160 years to maturity 8 years redemption value 1000 current market price 918.5 what are the yield to maturity duration and volatilities of these bonds now what i will do is i will cal we'll calculate only for p for q you calculate yourself just like p exactly similar to p i'll give you the answer right so we will calculate for bond p 26th problem bond p so bond p we are given c is equal to 16% of 160 n is equal to 8 years maturity value rupees 1000 current market price 
रुपीस नाइन हंड्रेड एंड एटीन पॉइंट फाइव जीरो दिस द डाटा केवल सी वी आर रिक्वायर्ड टू कैलकुलेट द एल टू मेच्योरिटी देन ड्यूरेशन एंड वोलैटिलिटी तो पहले वाई टी एम कैलकुलेट करना है वी टू कैलकुलेट द वाई टी एम Now see here, the current market price of the bond nine eighteen point five, whereas face value of the bond is one thousand. Thousand rupee ka bond market mein nine eighteen point five mein bik raha hai. So this means the bond is not attractive. Bond is not attractive. When the bond will become not attractive? When the required rate of return is more than the coupon rate. If the required rate of return is more than the coupon rate, then the bond will not be attractive. अब यहां कोपन रेट 16 परसेंट है तो इसका मतलब मार्केट में रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट 16 से ज्यादा चल रहा है इसीलिए ये बॉन्ड बेकार है तो वी हैव वी विल सपोज बड़ा यानी 16 से बड़ा वैल्यू चाहिए तो लेट अस टेक द रिक्वायर्ड रेट ऑफ रिटर्न एट 18 परसेंट लेट द रिक्वायर्ड रेट ऑफ रिटर्न बी एटीन तो V इज इक्वल टू वन सिक्सटी इंटू पी वी एफ एटीन परसेंट फॉर हाउ मेनी इयर्स एट इयर्स प्लस वन थाउजेंड इंटू पी वी एफ एटीन परसेंट फॉर एट इयर्स तो V इज इक्वल टू वन सिक्सटी इंटू प्लस वन थाउजेंड इंटू तो वॉट द एनुअटी फैक्टर एटीन परसेंट फॉर एट इयर फोर पॉइंट जीरो सेवन एट And here it is zero point two six six. So V is equal to six fifty two point four eight plus two sixty six nine one eight point four eight. 